dear friend in this video we discuss one of the important term in crystallography that is law of crystal symmetry law of crystal symmetry states that all crystals of the same substance possess the same elements of symmetry crystal have several types of symmetry but the simplest three elements of symmetries are as follows first we discuss plane of symmetry a crystal is said to have plane of symmetry when it can be divided by an imaginary line imaginary plane into two equal part in such a way that one part is the exact same mirror image of the other part if a crystal possesses such a plane then we say crystal have plane of symmetry to clarify this let us see this clip see here now this is an imaginary plane due to this imaginary plane this cube is cut into two different parts but one part is the exact mirror image of the other part hence we say this cube possesses plane of symmetry cube have more than one plane of symmetry consider this another plane due to this plane crystal divided into two part so we say it has plane of symmetry second symmetry is the axis of symmetry axis of symmetry is an imaginary line about which the crystal may be rotated such that it presents exactly same appearance more than once during its complete rotation that means it is an imaginary axis or imaginary lines passing through the crystals and through that axis when the crystal is rotated through 360 degree during complete rotation if it shows same appearance more than once then we say it has axis of symmetry see here in this diagram so this is an imaginary line about this imaginary line if this crystal is rotated it shows the same appearance more than once so we say it has axis of symmetry to explain this we have some types that is four fold axis three fold axis two fold axis of symmetry why it is called four fold axis of symmetry see here so it is an imaginary line see here this is an imaginary line about this imaginary line this crystal is rotated 1 2 3 and 4 so during complete rotation it shows four time appearance so it has four fold axis of symmetry let's see another example consider another axis that is passing to opposite spaces now crystal is rotating about this axis 1 2 3 and 4 so crystal has four fold axis of symmetry that means after rotating through each 90 degree crystal repeats its same appearance therefore during 360 rotation it shows four times same appearance so we say it has four fold axis of symmetry and it is called as the tetrad similarly we discuss about three fold axis of symmetry three fold means during any rotation crystal shows three times same appearance this is the line passing through the crystal it is an imaginary line passes through the opposite corners of the cube 1 2 and 3 so during complete rotation it shows three times same appearance hence this axis is called three fold axis of symmetry that means during 360 rotation after each 120 degree 
crystal shows the same appearance so the axis is called three fold axis or triad two fold axis of symmetry the ac axis passes to opposite edges of the crystal and during the rotation it shows two times same appearance see here so after rotating through 180 degree it shows same appearance therefore axis is called two fold axis or dyad similarly we can explain about six fold axis of symmetry that means if the crystal is hexagonal it shows six fold axis of symmetry that means after rotating through 60 degree it repeats the same appearance hence the axis is called six fold axis of symmetry then third one is the center of symmetry it is point inside a crystal such that any line drawn through it will intersect the opposite faces at equal distances let us see in this diagram if we draw a line passing through this point this line will intersect this opposite faces of the crystal at equal parts or any line drawn through it S consider the second line the second line also intersect the opposite faces as equal distances therefore we say this crystal possesses center of symmetry a crystal can have one or more plane of symmetry but never more than one center of symmetry a perfect cube has a total of 23 elements of symmetry because a cubical body possesses the highest degree of symmetry thank you for more chemistry videos subscribe my channel thank you thank you once again